Hey guys. Ew. Ew, I look like a skater person from like 2012. I need to get a haircut so bad, but there's no place open. Welcome back to my channel. Um, it, it, um, okay, oh my god, stop. This is why I can't film. Ew, when I do this, my nose looks huge. Okay, it's been a long time since I've actually sat down and filmed a video. It's been like four or five weeks because the videos, the two, like the two videos that like, let's just stutter, you know? But most two, my two newest videos were recorded four to five weeks ago because they just were. I'm going to be customizing my air horses. You can't, the sun. Cause these are kind of old and I want to get new ones anyways. I'm gonna be painting them with some paint I bought from Michaels from over winter break. I just never got the chance to do this video. This is always a plan for me to do this video. I'm gonna be all also telling you some fun story times and answering you guys' questions on USC. I don't know, not just USC, about me. Get to know me tag, you know. What have you guys been up to? I'm just kidding, I don't care. I'm just kidding, oh my God, I care. Come on, tell me. Cool, did I ask? Wow, oh my so God. funny. Wait, are you going? Going to shut the fuck up. I'm still in California right now. I'm in my aunt and uncle's room. No, I'm in my aunt and uncle's house and um, they've been so gracious to let me stay here. I couldn't really go home because my stepmom is a little skunk. But I like it here. It's like California, great weather. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just start the video. Um, but first, first, I have a fun haul for you guys because I just had a lot of packages and I went to go pick them up at USC because they were already delivered. I just haven't been able to pick them up in a while. So first, I bought this from Vitaly and then I bought this from Kohl's and this I bought before this because I wanted something like, like a fat one. I wanted thicky. But I just bought this from Kohl's and I got it and I was like, meh, it's okay, you know. I also bought these because I just wanted some, you know, bitchy sunglasses that I can rest in the base of my nose. I don't know, what is this part, you know? <laughs> I just wanted to be able to do this and be like... I bought blue ones because I wear blue a lot. I just thought these would be fun. I'm not really going to wear them ever, but they're a good thing to have just in case. Just in case. The spice up. The sun, you owe... The sun really fucks shit up. Basic white turtleneck. Oversized t-shirt in black. Fun. And I bought this because I thought this would be a fun color. I don't have anything colorful like this in my closet. So I was like, hmm, Thrasher, meh, it's an okay brand. Like, I don't want to really wear it that much, but like, this was kind of a dope shirt. So I was like, let's do it. And the last thing was this black turtleneck, which I thought would be so much fun as well. So I'm gonna put some of these on for you and you guys can see what I would wear with an outfit. So I don't really want to move a tripod because that's a lot of work. Mm. Fuck. This is a problem. I look like a skeleton. You can wear this, like this. Or, this is why I bought the blue shirt. Get ready. <laughs> wait, wait. Still not done, still not done. This is why I bought these in the color blue. This lighting is so good. Oh my god, I like it a lot. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, you thought it was loading? Okay. This is like a really trendy outfit. I don't think I would ever, ever wear this out in public. Like, I would never wear this with it. Maybe I would wear this then. Maybe. Maybe. See, like, this is something more I would wear. <laughs> rate, rate it in the comments. Okay, I'm kind of too lazy to change back into my stuff, so I'm just gonna wear this. I have to lay some stuff down so I don't get any paint on the carpet, but... Oh, so I don't have any towels really to lay down that I don't want to ruin. I have these ugly jeans that, for some reason, I thought would be a good idea. Yes, I know, I get it, stop bullying me, like, please don't bully me. But, um, it's okay, I've learned my lesson. I'm putting these down as a towel so that they can just take any paint that I drop, you know? It's sad that I wore these in December. I know it's like a very short time ago. I know, but I'm, I'm, I'm a quick learner. So we're just gonna set these down. <laughs> Guess what? I have another pair. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I just, <laughs> stop, stop, don't fall. <laughs> Listen, I didn't buy two pairs. So I bought one pair from Tilly's and Tilly's just so happened to send me two pairs. And I was like, I'm not gonna send one back. And they only charged me for one pair. I just took it, you know? I have my paper plates and I'm just gonna pour some paint on there. So I got colors. I was kind of going in the vibe of a blue. 
Hey, who would have thought? It's not even my favorite color. I think black's my favorite color. Ugh, this bitch! I just recently, I think that like, if I want to wear any color, it's got to be blue because that's just the coolest to me. My intention was I bought colors that I would be able to do Starry Night and The Great Wave, but I realized that I'm overestimating my artistic ability. So there's just no way that I probably would be able to do that. I might try the Starry Night one just because I think that's more reasonable to try to do than The Great Wave, which I looked up tutorials for both and there's just, there's just no way, there's just no way. I'm gonna clean these first because they're kind of dirty. While I'm cleaning them, I'm gonna start on one of the story times. No, okay, I'll just clean it in silence then. I'm just kidding. Okay, we'll start with the story time that I think is the funniest that I can come off the top of my head. My friend found like there was like a rave and I was like, I haven't been to a rave. I wanna go to a rave. I wanna go to a party. Because as you know, I'm a member of the male species. I don't you. I can't get into frat parties right now because all my friends who are in frats are pledges and they can't bring people in. We get to the rave and stuff like that. We're dancing, we're chilling, we're having a great time, you know? After a little bit, I was like, you know, I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna like sit out of the mosh pit. Like, I'm just not gonna like go in that anymore because I'm kind of like getting a little hot. Like, I don't want to sweat. Like, I just want to take a break, you know? So I step out on the side. I'm talking to some friends for a little bit. And all of a sudden, just all of a sudden, someone just falls out of the mosh pit. They just come and hit their head in my face. That was so much fun. I like kind of saw stars a little bit, you know? It was kind of a hard hit. And I was like, ow, like the fuck. So then I get an itch on my forehead and touch my fingers like a second later. I'm like, why is it sticky? So I look down, I'm like, what is on my fingers? Like the heck? It's like, it was dark. There was like, the lights were blue and stuff. I was like, what is this? Come on. So I like, like touched my hand again. I'm like, <laughs> and I like have blood running on my face. I don't even realize. And I was like, really? Like, <sighs> That's a real big wrench in my plan. Not my plan, I don't have a plan, that's weird. But I was like, hey, Maya, I think I'm bleeding. Everyone's like, what, what are you talking about? And I'm like, yeah, like look above my eyebrow. I think I'm bleeding. I lift up my hair and everyone gets their flashlight out. Lo and behold, there's a huge gash above my eyebrow and I'm just bleeding profusively. And I'm like, hmm, interesting. I didn't really feel it because I just, I just didn't. I was like, okay, whatever. I like, I'm, it's not a big deal. I kind of just don't want to leave yet. Like, I just want to know if I have to get stitches. Cause like, should I leave now? Like, what do I do? Like, I just don't know what to do. Cause like, we were deciding, we went to the bar, we got a butterfly stitch, not a stitch, butterfly bandaid. And we just kind of just like back together. And I was like, I still want to party. Like, I still want to go back in the mosh fit. And they're like, no. And I'm like, oh, fine. So I was just chilling on the side again. After a while, my friend group was kind of leaving, you know? I was like, okay, I should probably leave soon. Like after this song, I'm leaving. But all of a sudden, this very attractive girl is just looking at me and I'm like, hey, what's up? <laughs> I'm kidding, I didn't do that, no. I realized that I accidentally bought watercolor, but we're still just gonna see how it works. So I was like, okay, wait a second, hold up. Should I make a move? I don't do that. Like I usually don't go for anyone because I'm just kinda like, oh, like rejection is fun. I was like, oh, I'm too scared. Oh no, oh no. Like, I don't go for anyone ever. Like, I never make a move. So I um didn't and I left and I went home. Oh, yeah. I'm just kidding. No, my friend Kyla, she went up to her and she was like, hey, my friend thinks you're pretty cute. And I was like, <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? So I went up to her and I was like, hey, my name is Brett, what's your name? We started talking, it was fun. We were dancing and we were having a great time. She said I was a beautiful person. Like, I think she was beautiful, which is weird. I was like, am I supposed to be called beautiful? I don't know. But she said it was beautiful and I was like, wow, thank you. And we were dancing and stuff like that. You know, just what you do at a rave. And we were dancing, we were talking, doing homework. I'm kidding, okay, don't, don't. You're getting some weird things in your head. But um, yeah, after a while, we went to the bathroom, went to the glory hole, and I sucked her dick, so. Yeah, yeah. I'm just kidding. I was bleeding, I had a band-aid on my head, and I was dancing this random girl. And eventually she was like, hey, what's your Instagram? Like, let's follow each other on Instagram. And I was like, oh, sick, like, okay, like, let's follow each other on Instagram, because that's what people in our generation do. I follow me off of her phone, and I, I was like, okay, whatever. And um, her friends, I don't know, they're really annoying. They were like bleach blonde and they were like, <laughs> they were like, okay, we're leaving now. And I'm like, oh shit, bye. Go home. I look on who followed me. Let's like see her Instagram. And she's verified. 
on Instagram and she has over 100,000 followers. And then I found out she's a Netflix actor and I'm like, hmm. We were talking and stuff like that and I found out that she like wants to be a producer and stuff. And I was like, oh, that's like cool. Okay, like I guess like she's just in college right now like going to try to be like a producer. No, she's an actor on Netflix and she's famous. I DM her, we talk, we're still talking and stuff. I don't know, that's the story of how I'm gonna favorite. It's like such a bad story, but like, I think that was so much fun. I don't know, that was fun for me. It just looks like poo. <laughs> poo. Ew, that word's gross. It's gonna turn out ugly. Here she is. It's not good. It's not good. I think it looks dirty. Is there any point? This is really ugly. I'm erasing this. I'm just painting it blue. Like I'm this, that's what I'm gonna do. All done. I have a great idea. Ombre. I should do an ombre. Yes! You're so smart. Okay, this is the best of my artistic ability. The best. I don't even wanna do it on the other ones right now. I don't even want to. Okay, yeah, how is the vibe of the campus? How is the social life? How is the materialistic stuff? Everyone wants to know that. That's what I'm getting so many DMs on Instagram about. In my opinion, I don't think that it is that LA life. Like, you know what LA life is, obviously. Um, and if you don't, you're fucking stupid. I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. Stop crying. It's like, people think that like, LA is materialistic, that they care about money, fame, power, like wealth, social climbing. That's what they think of LA. And they think that maybe USC is like that too. And they're scared to come because of that. But in my experience, the people I surround myself with and the people I like know, I do not experience that ever, like whatsoever. I know that most people are not from the LA area who go to USC. So it's like, these people aren't from LA either. I'm from the Midwest. There's a lot of people from the Midwest, a lot of people from the East Coast. Like why would they, they don't have these tendencies either. We have the rep for that, but I don't think we really, I don't see it that often. So if that's a big problem for you guys, that or if like, that's what you like are scared about coming to USC about, it's not that problem. Like the biggest problem is probably paying for it, to be honest. I really think everyone here is really friendly. For me, it's been so easy to make friends. Like welcome week, I come, I talk to anyone. They, people will want to be friends with you. You want to make connections, like, and no one has ever been like you or like not want to be my friend because of like how much money I have. A lot of people you do see wearing designer and stuff like that, but if you don't wear designer, I don't wear designer. If you don't do it, you're not not gonna fit in. Like, no one gives a shit. Like, if you wear it, like, people are like, oh, that's cool. Like, okay, cool. I guess like that person has money. But if I don't wear it, they're not gonna be like that person's poor. I don't want to be friends with them. Like, no. Oh fuck, I was gonna do the thing for you, but you saw my hair move. Let's do another story time. I'm just kidding, no sake. Okay. Let's just do get to know me. Okay, I'll do the TikTok trend where it's like, my name, my sign, my my color. I'm kidding, I'm not doing that. That's so ugly. I'll tell you guys some stuff about me because I feel like I don't, I don't know. I haven't said that much about me. You kind of just watch my vlogs and you know, like I'm there, like, you know my name, like, there you go. You know, I'm from Chicago, but like, what else? Who is B-Bogs? My favorite color is black. I'm a Pisces. Um, <laughs> I like to run a lot. I do like running. I don't know if you guys know that about me, but I like running cross country and track. I'm actually trying out for the track team next semester at USC, but it's very hard to walk on because they're very competitive. They're very good, but I've been training a lot and um, all the sports got canceled for like high school and college, you know? So my logic is that since they got canceled in high school, it's harder to recruit people who are good so since there's less recruiting going on, I can slide my little slow ass in there and get in that one of those spots, if you know what I mean. I was realizing whenever people ask me about my hobbies and like I was filling out my resume, I have no hobbies. I like don't know what I do. Like I run, yes. Like what else? I go on YouTube, what else? I don't play an instrument. I don't speak many languages. I don't do art, obviously. I don't do art. Like I'm just talentless. I don't even know, like I like fashion, but like, I can't just pee, waste all my money on fashion. That dried a different color than I, what? What? What is this color? This is what color I painted it. Now what is this color? It's ugly. Okay, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, Sorry if that was boring. I'll try to find something more fun to do next week, but I will be uploading way more consistently now because I do have a lot more time. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like, subscribe, share, with your friends my videos that'd be so much fun and um that's all i have to say subscribe like comment share peace and wait i should show you the finished product what am i doing okay ready one two three or oh, i'm painting on the side don't look at it okay thank you
Bye.